I cannot believe how much fake stuff there is in this charity shop. We have Gouke, we have Stain Island, we have Adidas, we have Umbra, and it, the list goes on and on and on. This shop today is full of fakes. Welcome back, boys and girls. It's your boy Kieran from Rummage Around, and in today's video, we are going to go and take a spontaneous trip to the one and only Boston. Do you know why? Charity shops have been so good this year over at Boston. So why not take you guys along with me and hopefully we find some absolute bargains. Just want to say from the bottom of my heart, guys, you have been amazing. You have shown this channel so much support and I honestly do appreciate your time for today's video. So take a breath. Without further ado, please like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you in the charity shops. Boom!
So this jacket here is probably like the only item in this shop that probably wasn't fake. But the fact that everything else was fake, my mind really wasn't in the right place. But to be honest, now re-looking at this clip, looking at the tags, this, 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 this coat. Come on, English. Come on, English. This coat looks legit. <laughs> So it is in fact the next day and I just want to say a massive thank you for the subscriber that uh, stopped me in a charity shop. It was absolutely uh, amazing to speak to you and lovely to hear your thoughts on reselling and the charity shops around our area. You, got, you are amazing and like you all are, you are all incredible. However, let's get into the haul. Again, I only popped into Boston because my brothers were getting their jab. So I thought I'd pop around a few charity shops ready to pick them up when they gave me the call. What did we find today? It's definitely quality over quantity. And guys, we have picked up some absolute gems today. So you may have seen it in the clip. We actually picked up some Le Creuset. We picked up three bits of Le Creuset. Well, hypothetically, we only picked up two bits, but they actually gave us a bit of Le Creuset for free. And they're just giving it away for free in this area. It's absolutely ridiculous. Uh, we've got a nice hazelnut 14 centimetre milk pan. Unfortunately, this one doesn't have the lid, but even I should even still get about 25, 30 pound back from this. And by the way, guys, the whole haul cost me 27 pound and 25 pound is from this thing, which we paid up two quid for. Absolute mental. And we then got this really nice volcanic orange Le Creuset pot at, with matching lid, a size 18 centimetre. Absolutely beautiful condition, really nice and clean. Absolutely outstanding. No chips, no crack, nothing. Beautifully washed. Oh, it's amazing. And I've actually listed this for £40. What do you think? Oh, my days, it's very heavy. Oh. And then we've got this one. We've got this lid for free. Oh, my neck hurts. The weight of that Le Creuset pot. Oh my God, where is it? There. The weight of that Le Creuset pot is ridiculous, actually, thinking about it. Uh, but anyway, we've got this for free. A size 16 Le Creuset pot lid. They said, look, you can have it for free. We haven't got the matching pot. Um, so yeah, always nice to get free Le Creuset. That I've listed up for £20. A nice, easy uh, feedback for the seller. Went into cash generators, picked up the Guitar Hero Live. They wanted £2, and I should comfortably get anywhere between £10 and £15 back from that. So, yeah, definitely want to keep an eye out on Guitar Hero Live on the PlayStation 4. I also do believe on the Xbox One it's worth a little bit of money too. We then picked up this very nice vintage retro Microsoft Force Sidewinder pedals and wheel. Compatible with the Windows 98 and 95. I do like picking up stuff like this because, especially if it's boxed, and the fact it was £5. <laughs> Believe it or not, guys, this was probably the most expensive item we picked up today, and it only being £5, which is absolutely incredible when you think of what I've just shown you. Uh, we've got, my, yeah, Sidewinder, force feedback wheel, should be looking at a roughly around the £50 mark. Absolutely wicked. Comes with free racing games as well. <laughs> They're like, yeah, we've just put some uh, racing games in there just to help it sell quicker. I was like, £5 for this. This was always going to sell quick. But anyway, we'll take it. £5 into 50 We then picked up this dance mat. This is my third dance mat in two weeks that I've picked up. I don't know what it is. I have a real thing for buying old gaming dance mats. Because there's good money in it. This, I paid £2 and I should be getting at least £25 if it's tested and working. I need to test it and work it. Test it and work it. Yeah, great English, Dad. Begin, yeah, great English. But yeah, tested and working. I should be looking at £25. Um, I don't really like testing these because that means I actually have to move and do some work. And I'm not about moving anymore. If I can't get there in driving distance, I'm not going. 
let alone dancing on a mat for 20 minutes to make sure it works. So uh, it could be one of them things where I just say it's untested or I just need to stop being lazy and get it tested, really. But yeah, two into 25. I highly recommend it, guys. If you are out there sourcing and you see any PS1, PS2 dance mats, do pick them up if they are cheap. They're an easy £25. Not just this one. You've got other ones like Dance Factory. Uh, this is a rave station. They're all about £25, £30. So yeah, definitely worth picking up. Then we went into cash generators again. So this, this Boston has two cash generators. Uh, we then picked up uh, on new Mushu Warlord picked up just because Ricky picked up one last week. Uh, just wanted to be cool like Ricky, really. Paid 50p, should get five pounds back. So, yeah, not too bad. Just, yeah, I just wanted to be part of the Omi Nushi Oni Mushi Kuru Onu Oni Oni Mushu. I don't know, you get the gift, ping it over there. And this was quite a nice find in the cash generators. We picked up a Sony VCR player, and as you can see, I paid ten pounds. Uh, I normally would haggle in, haggle in the older cash generators because you can, because they are based all on profits and how much they bring in on that store day. But ten pound for Sony VHS player with its remote is absolutely a bargain. This, believe it or not, guys, I should be looking at about the fifty-five, sixty pound mark because it's got its remote. If it didn't have its remote. It's a comfortable 45.50, but hopefully it's more like a 55.60 because it's got its matching remote and it looks in really, really nice condition. But £10, I was always picking that up. 10 into 50, bish, bash, bosh. Or as people will say now, wee wow, wee wow. Wee wow, wow, wee wow. And the last two items are clothing slash footwear. It really wouldn't be a rummage around video if I did not pick up at least one pair of trainers. And today's pair of trainers, nothing special guys, so don't get too excited, are these Reebok Classics with the really nice retro look emblem on the side. These aren't vintage, they are very, very modern. I think these ones are about 2019, possibly even later, maybe 2018. Really nice brown colour. Brown PVC leather, Reebok Classic, emblem on the side, UK size 4, so the women's market. Um, I do tend to pick up women's market if it's like the Adidas trainers, that sort of thing, because women still need to wear shoes, and uh, there's still very good money in these. I'm looking at about £25 back from these, only paid a fiver, so I was picking them up all day long. And last but definitely not least, we picked up these pair of Levi's 501s, Size 32 leg and 32 waist, paid for in a nice beige cream colour. Very, very nice. Lightweight denim, uh, should be comfortable £25 all day long because they are slightly different colour, slightly different design and uh, will appeal to uh, many people. So yeah, finish on a bit of a boring one, but again, it's bread and butter item for myself and I just love selling clothes and I just love selling footwear. I think I may need help. I think I now have over 180 pairs of shoes and counting. And there we have it, boys and girls. Like I said, it was just a quick nip into the charity shops while I was waiting for my brothers to get jabbed for the COVID-19. Um, it, yeah, it's, it's, it is what it is. Again, I am incredibly blessed with where I live and how cheap items are and the amount of stock I can get in one location. I know people like Ricky have to drive 13,000 miles to get to one charity shop, and then have to drive another 27,000 miles to get to another one. Again, a slight over-exaggeration, but you get my drift. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy that video, please do smash that like button. Think about subscribing. We are on the road to 3,000 subs. It'd be incredible if we can hit that before Christmas. I've been your boy, Kieran, and I will see you very, very shortly hopefully going to go up to about three videos a week for your beautiful faces if that does not deserve a like button then i do not know what does but anyway guys enjoy the rest of your week and i'll see you very very soon 